Hello everyone, my name is Maria Antonia Wilhelmina. I was born on October 13th in a Catholic family, and I have Maria, which is also known as Mary, as my baptism name. Maybe now you're wondering, why do I have to tell you about my background? So today, I'm going to tell you about the miracle which took place in Fatima, Portugal, and begins on May 13th, 1917, and ends on October 13th, 1917. So, let's get started! The Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, appeared to three young peasant children, Francisco, who was 10 years old, Jacinta, who was 9 years old, and Lucia, who was 7 years old. They were tending to their family sheep when they were blessed with the presence of the Virgin Mary, Mother of Jesus. In Portugal, the Virgin Mary is also known as Fatima. The children saw this beautiful woman dressed in white and standing above a bush. The Virgin Mary told the children that world peace would occur if they spread the godly message of prayer. She visited the young children under 13 for the next six months. She revealed to the children three secrets. The children were told to make sacrifices to save sinners. They were tied cords around their wrists and didn't drink water on hot days. Lucia told the villagers that Mary asked them to say the rosary every day in order to keep world peace. The first operation on May 13, 1917. The Blessed Virgin Mary tells the children that she will be visiting on the 13th of each month for six months. She tells the children in the tiny village they will need to commit sacrifices and suffer, but that they will end up in heaven. She tells the children to say the rosary prayer every day, to bring about peace and to devote themselves to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. The second operation on June 13, 1970. Mary asked the children to add the Fatima prayer to the end of the rosary. The children ask her to take them to heaven, but she says that it is too soon. She says she will soon take Jacinta and Francisco, but Lucia will stay on earth for longer. The third operation on July 13, 1970. Mary reveals the three secrets. She shows the children that hell is a horrible place. She also predicts the Second World War and the persecution of Christians in Russia. She goes on to warn that there will be further persecution of Christians. The fourth operation on August 19, 1970. This operation doesn't happen as planned. The three children were kidnapped and imprisoned by the police. The police believed they were making up these operations and wanted the children to state that it was all a hoax. The children stood their ground and were later on released. Six days after the 13th of the month, Mary appeared again and told the children to pray for sinners. The fifth operation on September 13, 1917. On this day, people gathered to see if Mary will show and rush through hospitals fall from the sky. As the witnesses touched them, they disappeared. Sister Lucia asked Mary to cure the sick, and she responded that God would not cure those who were not healed. The final operation, the miracle of the sun. So, what was Fatima's miracle of the sun? The sixth and final miracle, the miracle of the sun, occurred on the 13th of October 1917. This was essentially in response to the prophecy made by the three children. The children told the people in the village to come out and witness it, even the skeptics. There are reports of over 70,000 people being in attendance. So the question now, are the three secrets really revealed? Only two of the secrets were revealed in a document which later on written by Sister Lucia in 1941. So how exactly the city of Fatima looks like? Nowadays, a lot of visitors visit the city of Fatima each year to witness the place of the miracles. The sanctuary even sparks the curiosity of atheists and is welcoming to many pilgrims of all religions, not just Catholicism. 
The most popular times to visit Our Lady of Fatima are on the 13th of the month, between May and October when the apparitions occur. At the sanctuary, you can witness the large torch lit, processing led by cardinals and bishops. You can also light a candle for a loved one and say a prayer. That's all from me, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you, have a nice day and God bless you.